In this video, we are going to solve a problem from part number 1977. To multiply 2 cubed minus 1 over 2 cubed plus 1, 3 cubed minus 1 over 3 cubed plus 1, 4 cubed minus 1 over 4 cubed plus 1, and all such fractions up to infinity. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's try and calculate the first few terms and see where, whether there's anything that can be simplified. As you can see, the numbers are cubes, plus or minus 1, so as 2 cubed equals 8, 3 cubed equals 27, 4 cubed, 5 cubed, and so on, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, etc. The fractions should be 7 over 9, 26 over 28, not going to simplify it yet, 63 over 65, 124 over 126, 215 over 217, 342 over 344, 511 over 513, and so on. Now notice that if we consider the numerator of a fraction, with the, with the denominator of the next fraction, like 7 and 28, and then the next pair will be 26 and 65, etc. They can be simplified. So for example, 7 and 28 becomes 1 and 4, 26 and 65 becomes 2 and 5, 63 and 126 becomes 1 and 2, and so on. So if we keep doing this, 4, 7, and then for this will be 5 and 8, and for this 2 and 3, and so on. Now you may notice that um, the reduced numbers are much smaller than the original one. So that means we can remove large factors from this kind of simplification. So if you follow this scheme, this algorithm, then um, the entries will drop uh, drastically. So let's see whether it's just a coincidence that holds for uh, such small cases or it actually helps for all n. In fact, generally speaking, for a numerator of a fraction, in general, in, in this uh, product, say it's n cubed minus 1, then the denominator of the next fraction would be n plus 1 all cubed plus 1 because the things at the top should be minus 1 and the things at the top should be plus 1 so there's a slightly difference. Now n cubed minus 1 is n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1 we can factorize it while for n plus 1 all cubed plus 1 it can also be factorized into n plus 1 plus 1, if you consider n plus 1 to be one block, and then multiply by n plus 1 all squared minus n plus 1, and then plus 1 at the end. For the second expression, if you simplify, then you have n plus 2 times n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n minus 1 plus 1. And so, if you further simplify, you will get n plus 2 times n squared plus n plus 1. That means they actually have a large common factor, this n squared plus n plus 1. And if we put them together, like we put it today in one single fraction and try to simplify, then eventually we will get n minus 1. times that large factor over n plus 2 times that, times that large factor and at last we'll have n minus 1 over n plus 2, a much simpler fraction. So that means the factors left going back to our, our fractions. 
So we have the starting 1 over 9. We still have the 1 over 9. And then the next one will be starting from n equals 2. 2 keep minus 1 over 3 keep plus 1. And that becomes 1 over 4 times 2 over 5 times 3 over 6. times 4 over 7, 5 over 8, 6 over 9, and so on. Just fractions with the bottom to be 3 larger than the top. And it goes on forever because we're multiplying to infinity. Now from this, if we just isolate the 1 nines for the time being, then the numerators are consecutive integers starting from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. And for the bottom, it will be similar things, but starting from 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so that means these things will all cancel out. And so what's left? Our final answer, as the product goes to infinity, our final answer tends to be, at the top, it's just 1 times 2 times 3 that remains. And the, for the bottom, it's just the 9 at the beginning, at the first fraction. If we simplify, we'll have 2 over 3, and this is our final answer.